Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Daniel, the Miracle Man, Jacobs versus King Gabriel Rosado. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So like I was saying, Jacobs versus Rosado. If you guys didn't know, this fight's taking place on the 27th of November, Friday, November 27th, over at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Fight will be shown live over here in the United States of America on the zone D A Z N. So tune into the zone if you want to see Rosado versus Jacobs. So yeah, who do you guys think is gonna win this fight? Will it be Daniel Jacobs or King Rosado? Who is your pick? Daniel Jacobs, currently thirty three years old. Uh, 36 wins, 3 losses, 30 wins come by way of Nakartikyo. Hasn't fought all year round. Um, I think we all know why. COVID, a pandemic, is currently going on. And uh, it has affected everybody, not just Daniel Jacobs, but everybody. Not just in the sport of boxing, but everybody. <laughs> everybody around the world has been affected by COVID. Uh, last time Jacobs was inside the ring was uh, back in December of last year against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Made Chavez quit after five rounds. Uh, as for Rosado, 34 years old now. 25 wins, 12 losses, 1 draw, 14 wins. Coming by way of Nakar TKO. He too hasn't fought in more than a year. Last time he was in the ring, I think it was the same card, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the same card. Yeah, same card. Uh, same card as the uh, Chavez fight between Jacobs and Chavez. In the undercard, Rosado fought against Humberto Ochoa. And he won by unanimous decision. And uh, now here he is fighting Daniel Jacobs. Philadelphia versus Brooklyn. It sucks that this fight's happening during the pandemic where... There will be no fans watching at all because I think this would do a decent crowd whether it takes place in Philadelphia or in Brooklyn. I think uh, you know people from Philly will definitely travel to Brooklyn or people from Brooklyn would definitely travel to Philly to uh, watch this fight live. But unfortunately with the, the times at the moment, this fight, uh, I don't think any spectators, there will be no spectators to uh, witness this fight, which is unfortunate. But if you want to see it, tune into the zone on November 27. So anyway, um, yeah, both fighters hasn't fought basically in almost a year. Uh, Jacobs, former champion, now competing at 168 pounds um, for his fight against Chavez was his first fight at 168, and uh, here he is fighting Gabriel Rosado, who's you know fought. In multiple weights 154 160 um, and now 168 also his last fight against Ochoa Humberto was actually also at 168 and don't let the 12 losses deceive you don't let the 12 losses deceive you those 12 losses came from very very good fighters guys like uh, Macy Suleski Martin Murray which is what's considered a controversial one William Monroe jr. David Lemieux Jamel Charlo, Jalian Love, um, which ended up being a no contest. Um, Gennady Golovkin. You know, he's been in there against some really good fighters. And if you look back, he fought Alfredo Angulo. Um, who else back then? Fernando Guerrero, man. What happened to that guy? Let me check, let me check real quick. What happened to Fernando Guerrero? No, I'm not a robot. All right. Fernando Guerrero, man, he hasn't fought, oh man, Tony Harrison retired him back in 2016, man, I remember Fernando Guerrero, yeah, he lost to Fernando Guerrero back in 2009, um, who else did he lose to, I mean, he's fought, this was early on in his career, but, but yeah, don't let that 12 losses deceive you, because Gabriel is a very good fighter, he's a very good boxer, 
he sh always shows a lot of heart and determination. He always comes to fight. And he will definitely come to fight in this fight. Highly motivated. I'm sure it's a big opportunity for Gabriel Rosado to fight Daniel Jacobs. Um, it's an opportunity for him to get big paycheck fights if he beats Daniel Jacobs. And as for Daniel Jacobs, this is a fight that he needs to win in order to move on to bigger and better fights. Possibly fight the winner of Canelo versus Callum Smith. You never know. Maybe get a rematch against Canelo. Maybe get a shot at Callum Smith. Hell, maybe get a shot at Billy Joe Saunders for the title at 168. You never know. There's a lot of big possibilities for Daniel Jacobs if he, w if he wins his fight on uh, November 27. And honestly, I think he will. I think Daniel Jacobs at 168 uh, showed that he can move, he can box, he has decent power at 168 pounds, at least from what we've seen against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. But then again, Chavez Jr. is you know, a quitter and loser, so you, you can't really get much from the Jacobs, I mean the Chavez fight. But you know, Daniel at least showed me that um, he, he's, he, he can fight at 168. I think he... He can definitely compete at 168 pounds. Gabriel Rosado, you know, I, I feel like he's just been in too many fights, too many tough fights, too many wars. And I feel like the damage he's taken over the years has taken a toll. And uh, I think, I think Jacobs would be a little too much for him. I think Jacobs will be a little bit too strong. Um, uh, a little too fast for Gabriel Rosado. Rosado can def skill wise. Rosado definitely has skill. He has skill. He I think he can compete skill wise. But when it comes to the physical aspects of it, uh, like speed, power, and reflexes, Daniel Jacobs ha are are better in those. So uh, I think Jacobs. Once he lands a clean shot, I think he might hurt Rosado. And I see uh, Daniel Jacobs winning this fight. Scheduled for 12 rounds, I believe. Yep, scheduled for 12 rounds. And um, yeah, I see Daniel Jacobs possibly winning this fight by TKO round 7, 8, 9, around there. But it's definitely going to be a very competitive fight early on. But I think Daniel Jacobs will beat him to the punch and outspeed him as the fight goes on. And I see uh, Jacobs winning by TKO. But I'm sure Rosado is highly motivated. Again, it's a big opportunity for him if he wants bigger fights, bigger paychecks. And uh, in order for that to happen, he needs to go out there and, and beat Daniel Jacobs. So, again, Jacobs by TKO. Looking forward to this fight. Tune in on the zone. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Do not forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet, please. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, please. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.